process. It's not like I download, I know everything you need to know about CS, but I just can't download it for you right now. Even if I do that, your brain needs to process because you are the one taking the exam. When you stand in front of the door, you need to know your stuff, right? So you should allow for processing. You should, you should imagine, how's this kid? Sometimes I ask my students to go sit in a corner after they finish the classes with me and just think, what will they ask? It could be cardiac. Okay, what would they ask in cardiac? It could be chest pain. It could be palpitation. It could be loss of consciousness. How would I deal with it? Right? So you rehearse. And then you go out and be shy at your best. All right? Once you know the right method and you've gone to systemize fashion, so my students finish abdomen and then they go finish up all other pain in the abdomen category. Next class they come, second class is probably up in two or three days. They have two classes per week. They come do a cardiac test with me and they go learn up everything about cardiac. And I've set it up in such a way that the system works where they have all the DDs wired up. Let me just show you that. So, this is my online video tutorial program. So, it's pretty much what you get in all the coaching class, but you can do it in the comfort of your home. So what I taught you just now, all the 10 kids starters, history, bam, hugs, was everything you get in the first step. So that's the step where you know everything that the CS you need to do from start to finish. Step two is about history taking. Okay, so you have all the histories, the cardio, respiratory, abdomen, what you need to ask for to the patient. And the nice thing is, you do the video tutorial, for example, if I play the cardio video, it will tell you how to process the information that comes in. If he says there's no local tenderness, then you're ruling out costochondritis. If he says there is acidity, and then you think, okay, GERD is in, this is out. And how to process the information, okay? So it's all just 10, I think 10, 11 minutes videos. So you can do it while you're waiting for a bus, or you know, um, you're just between rotations, you can just do these videos, okay? But it's pretty useful. Step three is physical exam videos. There are lots of physical exam videos on YouTube, right? But they don't show you how to do it within four minutes time. I told you, four, 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 and three. So we need to know how. I can't do everything under cardio in the real exam. You need to know what exactly you need to do. So some students ask me, how do you teach physical examination on Skype? I tell them I don't have to teach you physical examination because you're already a doctor or you're in medical school. You're supposed to know how to examine the heart and the lungs. All you need to know for CS is how to do it within a short frame of time. And that's what I show you in the video. And if you can see how we auscultate, where we auscultate, inspection files. Okay, I'm going to have to examine your heart, but first I need to untie your gun for that. Can you help me to untie your gun? Sure. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have a look at your chest to see if there are any gross abnormalities or pulsation. Can you turn a little for me? Thank you very much. I'm just having a look at your back. Seems normal. Can you please point with one finger where exactly you feel your pain? Does it hurt when I touch you? No. I'm going to feel for your heart now. You just tell me if you feel any discomfort or pain. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to check for any thrill or heat. 